United Health launched a new Medicare Advantage plan aimed exclusively to seniors 65 and older looking for one-stop shopping and health coverage. Secure Horizons, as the plan is being called, is expected to bring in nearly $13.5 billion in revenue this year. That is equal to about 20% of United Health's total revenues. Division CEO Rick Jelinek joins us now from Irvine, California, to tell us more about that. Welcome, Mr. Jelinek. Nice to have you here. Uh, thanks for having me. Tell us about this particular plan and what is going to make it different from plans that are already existing. Well, we're really excited that we're able to consolidate all of our Medicare Advantage offerings under a single brand. This allows us to position ourselves nationally as the leader in this space, as well as to better serve our national clientele. All right, so let's talk about the profit potential in that particular space. There was so much discussion about the Plan D part of Medicare. There's been a lot of confusion for a lot of seniors, not just those 65 and older, but um, how does kind of this umbrella approach, one, simplify things, and two, increase your profit potential? Well, we don't talk about our specific business unit profit levels, but what I can tell you is that we're on an effort to simplify the health care experience for seniors. Whether it's Part D or physician and health care coverage, Medicare Advantage brings all that together and creates a common program that individuals can join. It's kind of like the superstore of health care where you can get all of your health care needs under a single umbrella and making it easier and simpler for seniors. So how many uh, people do you expect to have enrolled in this particular plan? Well, we have about 20% of the current Medicare Advantage market today, and we anticipate continued growth going into 2007. What's changing in going into next year is the open enrollment cycle by which people can join a plan mm -hmm. is shrinking in terms of duration of time. Beginning November 15th, people can again uh, sign up for Medicare Advantage plans ar around uh, the open enrollment period. But uh, so how many, what kind of surge do you expect is what I was asking well, in this particular uh, we, open enrollment period? Sure, we're, we, we've had about a 20% growth this year in our revenue. We anticipate continued growth going into next year. We haven't announced or uh, given external projections yet on what next year will look like and that we're still in uh, discussions with the federal government around our final bids for next year's benefit offerings. And once that comes out, we'll be in a better position to understand the competitive marketplace for next year and give better guidance. You know, there are a number of other companies that are in your space that, that find it a not a very profitable niche to be in. Why did United Health decide to take this approach? And why do you think that you can make it um, more profitable as, as a business? I mean, the estimate is it's going to be 20% of your total revenues. That's a lot of money. What makes this different in your space than it does, say, in Humana space or someone else's? Well, I can't comp comment on what our competitors are doing, but what I can say is we are very disciplined about our businesses. We approach this on a systematic basis, looking to make sure that we're providing appropriate return on our capital invested, while also making healthcare more affordable to the senior marketplace out there. We think if we can bring that value proposition continually across all of our lines of business, that that will uh, allow us to continue to grow and continue to make our profit targets that we're uh, seeking. Mr. Jelinek, thanks very much. Thank you for your time.